Okay guys, so today is just a real quick short tutorial. Um, today we are using GIMP. I've already imported my image. To find your image size, um, let me here. So you want to go into your sample map or your whichever whatever your map is called and take out your density map ground. Concentrated density has been renamed to density map underscore ground for some reason. You want to convert it into a PNG file and find your, it's not showing up, but find your file size, which this one is set to 40 or 4, 4,096 by 4,096. And so that is for a standard size map, I believe a 4X is going to be 8192 by 8192 but anyway make sure your uh, make sure your map size is the same this one is there you go this one over here is for this one this is my sign so it's set up for 2000, 2048 by 2048 but you want to make sure you have one that is set up correctly for cultivator density if not, it will mess up and you'll have to resize it and that can cause some issues. Okay, so once you import it into GIMP, I have mine stored under documents and then just right there. Once you have it into GIMP, you're going to want to go over and you're going to want to add layer, new layer. Uh, yep. Yeah. So add your add a top layer. You're going to want to select your paintbrush, pick a size, um, uh, pick a size that works for you. It doesn't really matter, just something that works. And then you're going to want to change the color. So RGB red to 255. There we go. Now you're going to want to click and shift. Shift clicks allows you to drag it anywhere. So it snaps to wherever your cursor is, which just makes it a little bit easier. And then you just outline your field. Like so. Uh, we can do a little bit better than that. Or I can do a little bit better than that. There we go. And then just do this for all your fields. So I've only got three here. Shouldn't take more than a second. And once you've done this, For some things like this, like I can't see if that's part of the field or if it crosses over like this, you may want to consult Google Earth. Uh, there. So I just really quickly created this DM just a second ago, but here you can see, scroll in, see how this is done. Makes it a little bit easier. So. And then you can kind of just still didn't change it much, but there's not much I can do there. And I believe that is the only three fields on this map that are not in grass. Obviously, there's more here. But this right here, well, <clears throat> well I guess not. Um, well. I would say that is, yeah, that would also be one. All right, so once you have these, all oh, your fields done. 
obviously I don't have many, but um, once you have all these done, you want to go ahead. I believe you can select the paint bucket and just, yep. But you're going to have to clean it up. It doesn't quite do it all correctly. I've got to. Uh, we got to do this field a little bit. Um, yeah. There we go. And now you can just paint where you've missed. If you do that, I have, oh, yeah. So if you hit control by accident, it messes up everything in the RGB scaling. Don't worry, just come back in here and reset it. Now, all your fields are fully colored in. You want to reselect your bottom layer. Uh, which one is it? There. Let me drag this over. All right, so I use this tutorial here. This is by PMC. And it's for 19, but it still works. Fruit density, I'm, I still don't know. What is going on with fruit density? I haven't been able to get it to work. For me, I'm sure it still works, but I don't believe these are the numbers anymore for it. However, for your cultivator density, these are still correct. So RGB 000 for your background, which is everything not in red. So, uh, I still use a paintbrush for this, just max size set that to zero make sure we have the bottom layer selected there we go go back to your top layer this is set to rgb one then you just want your where is it, your magic wand you're going to shift i believe shift yeah shift click with the magic wand Select all your fields. Now this is a very, very slight change to your red, but it should be detected. And then back to your paintbrush and you just color them in and file. You want to save as uh, save it to my documents uh, yep no uh, you don't want to save sorry you want to export as PNG and then you want to make sure you have the right name for it so that name right there no, to go back that one Paste that in there, export. Wait for it to export. Then it should be, oh, still not here. What is Kemp doing? Uh, looks about right, export. All right. Now that you have that, take it, paste it into your, I guess this would be your data folder, and there, and then you want to go into your map i3d, 
using Notepad++ or Notepad, whichever one you have installed or prefer. And then you want to come down I usually just type in find GRLE. Oh, nope, sorry, not GRL, GDM. No, really? Uh huh. What is it under? Oh, uh, well, since that didn't work, here we go. And, yeah, so it is, it's correct. So it's finding a PNG file which is fine even if they are GDM files and then you just want to delete your cultivator density GDM then you can open this in Giants editor okay I figured out what I did wrong I delete the uh, density map fruits GDM instead of the density map ground which can have any can definitely call the problem so uh, let's see if this works already yep there we go there's your cultivator density don't worry about the uh, DEM it's just the way the terrain seems to paint itself in Giant's Editor. All you have to do is smooth it out, and the DEM will be fine, which I believe I've already set. But that's how you get your cultivator and your cultivator density in, or your fields, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that was short, quick tutorial for you guys. Uh, hopefully that helps you out, makes it a little bit easier. I guess thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.